So I'm writing a novel and I just deleted two chapters that I'd written a while ago because they were purple prose garbage, purple prose garbage. I mean, it was writing, things happened, there were nouns, adjectives, there were some adverbs, but it was boring. It was like really boring. So I'm Will, I'm continuing our series on pacing here at StoryStream, the developmental editor. And this question, I get asked a lot. How do you write a reflective scene, uh, something that gives the reader a chance to slow down and think and integrate without it being boring. Turns out there's a lot of neuroscience and literary theory about this. First, the neuroscience. So your brain loves unanswered questions. Like it really loves it. Like in 2015, they did a study of people reading suspenseful works and these two areas of the brain lit up the area for prediction and the area for attention. So what's interesting about this is that these two centers actually run on dopamine. Uh, this is the neurotransmitter in the brain that is responsible for action and motivation and engagement. So basically controlling unanswered questions means that you're releasing brain drugs in your reader's brains. How cool is that? So let's take a simple example. A character walks through a quiet forest, uh, beautiful bird sounds, maybe some dappled light. It's nice, but it gets boring quickly. Sorry, dappled light. Now, imagine that same scene with a terrible screeching sound at the start. No explanation, no backstory, just an awful sound of like an orc having a baby while running its fingernails down the chalkboard. Do orcs have fingernails? It changes the vibe of the scene. That dappled light suddenly feels very different. And so there's a whole bunch of literary research on unanswered questions. A thriller writers know all about this because it's really the engine that drives thriller stories. So there's a narratologist called Mir Steinberg who argues that suspense, surprise, and curiosity, all things which arrive from outstanding questions, are literally what a story is. Also, there's a role called narratologist. I no, my school counselor did not tell me that role was available. This effect happens across cultures and across time. You know, Sanskrit dramas and African oral stories and SpongeBob SquarePants. So the lesson here, unanswered questions, even for those emotional reflection scenes, are the key to unlocking readers' brain drugs and keeping them engaged. Brain drugs. I'm Will from StoryStream. This is the pacing series. You're here, I'm here. Let's do this. Subscribe. Bye.